Hi everybody, welcome back to Oni Camel Gaming. This is your host, Acidic, and I am doing whatever part we're on. I think it's episode 6, something like that, of Hitman Absolution. So, anyway, let's get back into our file and try not to make this too painful. But, yeah, this, uh, this section can be a little hairy. There's a couple different ways to do this. Some of them are easier than others. I'm gonna make some sweet edits and jump cuts to make this easier on us. So 47 pulls up to the orphanage to check on the victorious situation and somehow Birdie has a preacher suit exactly in his size. He overhears what he needs to hear and he finds Victoria in a catatonic state where this nun totally throws her under a bus. But anyway, he puts the necklace back on her as she snaps too. They hear gunshots and decide to rendezvous back in the basement. Thank you. He came back. Just like you said. I was so, so scared. Don't worry. I promise Diana to keep you safe. And no one you've been through. No one will you ever again. It'd be great to start running, but not allowed. What's that noise? Shh. It's just the commentary. This is where a fatal error is committed. He leaves her behind. He should not have left... Like, he couldn't wheel this over to the hole, lock the wheels, and use that Bowflex strength <laughs> to... Okay. I guess not. So after a few attempts of trial and error. I found that the timing was a little bit delayed here. You don't want to take this guy out immediately, but you don't want to take him out like too late because you, you'll lose him. I wanted to get his outfit because it actually makes part of this section a lot easier. The first fuse is in this room, in this little corner here on top of this doodad. This next part, I gotta wait on this guy to start moving, so I made a little edit because he takes a while. Once he starts moving, just head on down the stairs, casually staying out of his view. Checkpoint here if you need it. There's a place to hide over here around the corner, but I didn't really need that because there's no one to hide from. So anyway, I go into the chapel just for the reason I want to pick up the shotgun. It's kind of like a security blanket at this point. Head on out this room. Don't linger too long because you'll definitely catch some attention if you do. Then we want to go through this vent and just head on by. I sneak by because I didn't want to expend too much of my instinct. Once a certain guard passes by, you want to head into the next area to get the next fuse, which is in this little nursery area. Get the fuse, instinct your way out if you need to, but we're going to take the long route. I use the cover system to keep from expending any instinct, and then I head into this pharmacy area. This guy gives me some troubles on several attempts, so I just take him out. And then I put him in this to get my score back to zero. I do a little bit of a wait and timing, pick up the third fuse. I use in so you can get out of this room, and here's the big boss man, so I just use the cover system to stay clear of him. And he kind of lingers on that conversation for a while, so I just boogie on out. I don't want to be in here. And then I kind of just trust my gut and then find myself out in this room. But here's the last views out here with everybody who's having a meeting. Just uh, head on around the corner, down the stairs. So surprise, surprise, Wade and Lenny find Victoria and capture the nun. Wade bullies and pressures Lenny into making some kind of show or kind of stand and he ends up shooting the nun in the head. This part really isn't too bad without a disguise. But uh, with the disguise, it's pretty much just gravy. You can use instinct to get through here pretty fine, but I stick to the shadows to kind of conserve what I got to make this as smooth as possible. I wait for this guy to move, then I go over here and bang this bottle to make enough of a distraction to get the evidence. So if you don't have a disguise, that's how you can get the evidence there. Um, but I'm pretty sure I missed some evidence before in the previous part, so you know. Um, Say la vie, I'm gonna have to let it go. I'm, I'm pretty good on this run, and I'm ready to kind of just move on and let things be. Let's just have fun and let things be. 
So, yeah, Wade comes out and guns blazing, just a blasting, but if you stick to the shadows here, you'll find your way to one of two valves. You're pretty much railroaded into this, so don't worry about missing them. Hit the vent, crawl right on through, and that's where you're going to wander your way into, surprise, surprise, these red pipes, and they will lead you to the second red valve. Where you mortally wound Wade, yay! So this short-lived bastard is finally been taken care of and Lenny just gets away with Victoria mocking Wade and you on the way out. But mostly Wade. He really has it out for Wade. And that's that. I think I uh, might have missed some evidence in the orphanage hall portion of this level, but um, it can be a little bit trial and error -y. it can be a little bit painful, but it's not too bad if uh, you employ a disguise. But otherwise, if you want to do this suit only, I recommend using a lot of distractions and probably get some tips off of Center Strain 01. It'll save you some time. But honestly, you'll still have to study this for a while to get it suit only. Um, so I didn't kill anybody, I pacified a few people, and um, you know, I'm going to be satisfied with that. That's fine. I, I've done enough. This game's done enough. So in true Humphrey Bogart fashion, 47 follows a clue off of a book of matches. What book of matches leads to a town? I don't know. If this is a thing, hit me up in the comments because I've never heard of this. And then Birdie, for some reason, meets up with this guy in person. I wouldn't have done that willingly, I guess. But uh, of course, you know, he is ends up getting threatened by this guy and Sanchez. And then, you know, he makes a bargain for his life and he just, you know, laughs and threatens him and drives off. And then finally 47 makes it to Hope, South Dakota, so... Woo! Hey y'all, it's your boy Acidic. Thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. If you want to support the channel, that'd be mega awesome. Please hit up the Patreon. Any support would be appreciated. I'm trying to do my own thing. So, take it easy. Thank you.